there, make it! There, make it! Okay, we, okay, we made it! Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It hasn't even destroyed along with all of their dastardly plans. And, well, maybe the Pokemon side too, so maybe it's a little darker than the game implies, but okay, let's just move on. <laughs> That is definite success to take out their main base. So that you can you probably know what that means. You know it, you know it, it's Ranger Right And with the promotion comes Yep, the last restriction lifted Yeah That'll make things more convenient than ever, baby. Eh, yeah, he's probably okay. Just get a Pokemon, use its move protect, and you'll be okay with the explosion. Get it, get it, and forget it. <laughs> but yeah, she's got a point there. Anyway, <laughs> I hope he'll be okay, but there's still more to do. Because, yep, yep, yep. We gotta go up to the temple and go tackle the boss in one epic final showdown. And no problem, there shouldn't be that much difficulties, maybe. <laughs> oh, I just want to talk. You're right inside me, I said, never mind, that's probably the wrong wording for that. But anyway, I think as usual, the peeps upstairs don't change your dialogue, so I'm gonna flutter back out here. Okay, is it possible to go and get the Glalie? No, it is not, so I must wait until post-game. Lovely. <laughs> that's okay, just I would try it. Uh, like, I guess you could also try Windex on your glasses in the future. That's a tip for you, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I have a plan for the finale of this game, so if it works as well as that did for the Steelix, hopefully it'll go smoothly. Yes, yes. Uh, couldn't the Gorok Squad just, you know, go right in there? and just raid the house. I mean, just look at this. They don't lock the door. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Okay, never mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. No problems. Can I go behind the building? Can I? Nah, still doesn't work. <laughs> Last building, then I'll go around the perimeter. I'm just just basically taking the same path around the town like I did before. Mm, well, I guess age brings wisdom. And then now, stairs. Well, stair aside. <laughs> mm, ah! Whoa, interesting. Hmm, hmm, well, maybe, maybe we shouldn't tell him the full story about that, so let's just move on. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that explains it. Oh, but success. <laughs> no one can stop the ranger leaders, and no one can stop the save points, too. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to save my game, though. Hmm. Yes, I do, really, now. Hmm. I wonder if it's, it's around there somewhere. Maybe. Maybe. What I do know, though, is if I should... You guys, don't run into me, please, and don't you touch me. <laughs> well, what I do know is I'm not going to cut forward because there's a couple of... Uh, a little changes going on over here, and it doesn't take too long to get back to, like, say, uh, said where Snorlax was and whatnot. As a matter of fact, this is where the Snorlax was. <laughs> you know what I should do, though? I should probably grab little Pika Pika, Choo Choo, and there we go. You know, for the old Styler replenishment, if need be. Yes, yes. It, oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And so, now that we have this little shortcut here, where did the Snorlax go, you may ask? 
Well, I will show you quite post haste, my dear viewer. I I don't I don't I, I, I kind of flubbed at that, but anyway, <laughs> the, the place is this cave. Remember, this cave was empty. It's no longer empty, and it still won't awaken no matter what you do. So you're gonna have to leave that bad boy until later. But for now. Remember this right up here? Yeah, remember this path? And then it led to a certain door that we couldn't get past. What? Huh, I was running the whole time. I don't know why I got hit there. But anyway, I remember that there is a door up here? Well... Look at that, it's open! <laughs> Isn't that convenient? I thought... So. Oh, really? That, that... That... This... The Fury Temple is not considered... A part of the Sekka range and I can't take the Pikachu? Really? I guess... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. The Fury Temple Mission Team! Yeah. Alright. Dark foreboding music. This is it dialogue. Oh, this is sounding like Endgame all over the place. <laughs> Alright, you gonna battle me? You're probably going to battle me. <laughs> uh, okay, you're not going to battle me, I know that. <laughs> it's just kind of funny how he stalls you there. Uh, not not going to help if you talk. So, um... Hmm, how do we get in then? That is a question, I mean... Do we see any Pokemon around here that could potentially help open that door? Maybe, might be... No, I'm not seeing anything over here, but what does it take to open that door, say, like maybe a triple fire? Hmm, who had triple fire? Mm, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's probably on yours too, because no one could have possibly guessed this one. But yeah. Hmm, no, no Pokemon. We're stuck. Or are we? <laughs> yep, the Charizard. It's back. Yep, yep. And automatically, it blasts that door right open. Yeah. Melted the lock, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Woo! I will give you some kibble later, my fiery friend. Yeah. Good old Charizard. And now, save point there if you'd like to use it, but uh, I would like to do some exploring before I do that, actually. I think I'm going to explore this segment of the temple, this part, like the entirety. It's not that big of an area, but it's like a puzzle-type area sort of thing here. Um, things change as you go and talk to something way at the top layer of this place. I think I'm actually- oh wait, wait, are you new? Yeah, you're new. Hello there. Yeah, that's part of re the reason why I wanted to explore this too. There is new Pokémon! Yeah. Oh, you went right to the edge of the screen. You just had to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, victory is mine! And another Pokémon added to the browser! Moving on. <laughs> um, there now. What I mean about there being a puzzle here and whatnot is that there is a certain path that you gotta take to get through this. But that, did you just jump along with me? <laughs> anyway, I don't need to catch you. I did. I caught you during that whole uh, Go Rock Squad exchange. Although you're probably a different Aerodactyl. But anyway, uh, the correct path is actually down the right side. Oh, that that hopping sound was him making the hopping sound. Okay. But yeah, you gotta go up the right side and do a couple of hops. That's why I took the left side first. Just figuring that it would save a bit of time there. And yes, let's see what we can find around the parts anyways. Because, you know, we gotta look for everything we can possibly find for the sake of 100%. Wait a second. I wasn't able to catch you when I was with that other guy. So that means you're a new one. Yes! Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten the hang of the emulator, but is it enough? The tackle on Gordor. Oh, wait, I, I did catch one of you before? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. 
it was gonna run into me anyway. Although you'll notice that there's little Eevee evolution that's hanging around this place, like we've seen Vaporeon in another area. By the way, you'll notice that I jumped off this specific ledge. You could also do it here as well, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get down over on this side, which then takes us over to this side. <laughs> it, yeah, as I said, it's kind of a puzzle type, type, type maze type thing. And, ah, aha, who right you? Hopefully I'll be able to take you into the next area. <laughs> stop it. Stop the zaps. Stop the... I said stop the zaps. Although I guess you wouldn't obey me unless I befriended you, which isn't really a obeying so much as it is a mutual respect and love to each other. And anyway... <laughs> I would like to probably catch those Eevee evolutions on my way to this spot, but... You'll see why I'm not in just a second here. Do, 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 do. Another set of doors? How are we supposed to get these open? How indeed? Well, there's a little, some little plaque thing type thing there. Mm hmm. Once upon the stolen pedestals are placed, the chosen Pokemon, the path shall be thrown wide. This must be the hint for opening those doors. Ooh. Hmm. Yes, I, I felt it too. You could hear it in my voice. <laughs> Alright, let's check these yellow Pokemon on four legs, cloaked by the power of electricity, power of fire, power of water. So, which Pokemon do you think we're gonna need? <laughs> yeah, it's the Eevee Evolutions, and I think... Yeah, I gotta jump down this ledge to get this Jolteon here. So, Jolteon we go! You are... Whoop! You're pretty speedy there. <laughs> Whoa, we're really speedy. Aha! Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I see an opportunity. You gotta kind of wait for the... Stop for a little bit. Up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. How do I pull this one off? Ah, I forgot how to do this without a discharge or, say, a Poke Assist. <laughs> well, why not? Eh, eh. Aha! Take that. Victory. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Speed things along. I mean, I had it anyway. I could use a discharge as well. It wouldn't be quite as effective because you know it's not very effective. But yeah, it works. <laughs> now I got the Jolteon. Now I got to work my way over to the Vaporeon, which I forgot how to get to. Whoop! I for I think I need to go up to this. No, no, not that ledge. Oh, look. oh, it's this ledge. It's a lot simpler than I remember. <laughs> and Vaporeon. It runs very quickly from the battle, so try and get this stinker very, very quickly. See how it's got those lines above its head already? Ah, so close. <laughs> ah, it's too late. But yeah, that's that's the thing about Vaporeon. It runs very, very quickly. So here we go. Let's do this again. From the top, you do your Aurora Beam or whatever it is, and I will begin my circling spree! Yeah! That's how it's done. You basically have only one shot at it per battle, but, you know, since you can just touch it again in the overworld, it's not really a big deal or anything like that. It's just there to be all fluffy and cute, well, or maybe scaly, I don't know. And never really specified whether or not a Vaporeon has got a fluff. Or it's got scales, I don't know, if I'm going by the plush, I would say fluff. But anyway, Va Flareon is down here. And hello there, Metatite, you know I want that bad boy. So, because fighting Pokemon assists are so handy, I will most certainly be trying to add this one to my roster. Yeah, and also remember its location for later, because, well... You might need its help a couple of times, and yes, hello there, Gengar. What's up? Trying to spook me there? Well, you didn't in the slightest. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, it makes copies, but you gotta circle the copies to figure out which one's the real one and which one isn't. But yeah. Ah, oh, poopers. <laughs> oh, I found the real one. It's this one. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> I like those apples. Whew. 
pretty tricky, pretty tricky. And yeah, it's, it's since it's a ghost type, it can steal Pokemon. I mean, mess with Pokemon in your party as well. So don't let that happen. <gasps> a Glalie! I forgot you were in here. Oh, I guess I don't have to go back to the cave other than for those fire boulders. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> you know what I should probably do? Yeah, I should probably Poke Assist my way to recovering that because I'm I'm playing a little bit recklessly as usual. It's like whenever I see that number at the max, I just I don't know, I go crazy thinking that I can afford to lose a lot of health, and then I do lose a lot of health. And then I can't afford to lose a lot of health later. <laughs> That's basically how it goes. So yeah, I got that Glalie now, so there we go. And hello little Espeon. Oh! even see that poopers well <laughs> that's okay I don't need the Don fan for now anyway but you will want to stack up on a bunch of uh, ground type Pokemon for the final battle type thing and you'll know when you reach the final battle when you get to the final battle area because you'll be given a warning about it but yes just keep that in mind but for now I'm just gonna collect the Eevee evolutions <laughs> just all of them for the fun of it, I guess. Oh, geez, a Gengar got in with that. And it really stinks if a Gengar sucks up a Pokemon that's, uh, you know, a Pokemon that you're, that you need for those pedestals or something like that. Uh, can you go a little slower here, please, guys? <laughs> ah, poopers. Ah. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if I should just do, like, oh, I got the right one. I wonder if I should do that and then run from the battle. And then, yeah, there we go, that'll, I think that's a better idea. i seen it trying to steal that Glalie too, but I'll be able to stop it when I get back out of here. Alright, oh, come back here. <laughs> there we go! Oh! I was like, there we go, but no, I, I just touched it on the last circle. Hmm. It failed, but I got it that time. There we go. Now let's go and save Glalie, actually. Uh, oh! Too late. <laughs> we, we barely knew ye, but anyway. I'm gonna go flip-flop in over here, and, and, and there's the Flareon we need, and it's fluffy! Like, the most cuddly looking one of all! Well, except maybe Sylveon, I don't know, that one's pretty cuddly too. And you can circle in between its flames, just like you can do bubble beams and stuff like that, if you'd like to. But I'm just gonna see if I can do a full-on, ah, circle all at once, guess not. <laughs> well, I could. Because I know the strategy, even though it's going to speed things along. But I mean, if I were to do the normal strategy, it would take much longer. So why don't I just do this and then hope that I don't flub it up on the last circle? <laughs> there we go. And I got all the Eevee evolutions. As well as all the Pokemon along the path here, if I do believe so. There's a Don Fan, the Ariados. Uh, got the Aerodactyl from another battle, etc, etc. Now, I just cannot lose... My Pokemon due to the power of Gengar. So what I'm gonna do here is make that Gengar go away. By doing so, I'm going to. Yep. I think the one that isn't the copy is the one that appears. Yeah, first among the three. Yeah, there we go. And let's go, 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 and safe. No stealing allowed. Thank you. So now that we have all the Eevee evolutions, well, I only need three of them, but still, uh, I'm just gonna, oh, I just wanna have them all circle down all around with me here, because it's a pretty, pretty epic picture of fluff going on there. Meditite's at the top of the screen there, but that is okay. He's not an Eevee evolution or she, whatever. Yes, yes. <laughs> and now we are unfortunately going to lose the three of them. Yes, we hardly knew ye. We hardly knew ye. So if we tap a, pe a pedestal, if you have the right Pokemon on there, it'll, it'll basically prompt you about which Pokemon. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. So we got the other ones here. Red Pokemon. That's well, actually more orangey than red, I think, but <laughs> details, details. And blue Pokemon. That one is most certainly blue. Voila! Puzzle solved! Wow! And now, they get released. You can recapture them if you'd like to. It's up to you. 
But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my trek through the Fiore Temple. <laughs>